attention to what is happening in the present moment in the mind, body and the external environment with an attitude of curiosity and kindness. And this is the definition given by Mindful Nation UK report. So, when we're talking about mindfulness as a, what we call a therapy or a training, it must uh, consist of these two major components. One is attention training. One is we train ourselves on how to respond, you know, to our uh, present moment uh, body and mind state. Okay, so this will be the uh, more uh, complete understanding on uh, mindfulness. So let's do some practice. Okay, let me check what is the time now. How how much time do we have? Okay, is, this is almost uh, uh, thirty five minutes. I think we still have time. So. Let's try some practice, okay? I'm going to uh, share with you uh, some simple mindfulness practice. After we have uh, briefly understand what mindfulness is, so now I'm going to share with you some technique on how to develop this ability to pay attention at the present moment, okay? And also to pay attention to our emotions and thoughts. So basically, when we when we say mindfulness is an attention training, what do that what do we mean by that? First is what is attention? When we say pay attention, for example, you may pay attention to my hand here. Okay. So when we say pay attention, you are directing your attention or your mind to a certain object or to a certain direction. This is what we mean by paying attention. Okay. So second ability that we want to train in mindfulness is what we call a meta attention. What is meta attention? Meta attention is the attention of attention, which means the ability to know that your mind has wandered. So, so in mindfulness, we do not afraid that the mind wanders because my wandering is is what we call is a, you can say that uh, it's a norm, okay? Because we have also mentioned default mode network is always very active. If you do not train the brain, okay, do not train our mind. The what we call the norm or the default state is like going uh, is my wandering, okay? So what we need to therefore we need to train to bring the mind back to the present moment again and again. So at first, when we start to practice mindfulness, we are bringing our attention or direct our attention to a certain object. The object will include body and mind. But body is always uh, easier to start with, okay? Because the body is always at the present moment. So later in the practice, I'm going to guide you on how to develop what we call the body awareness and breath awareness using our body and or and breath as an anchor for our mind to come back to the present moment okay this also bring us to this uh, another technique that i always like to share with my student it's called the anchor of now when we say anchor of now we bring our attention to our soul okay to our malaysia tapakaki you know, you feel your soul or feel your feet, you know, placing on the ground. You feel the, the touching sensation and feel the, uh, what we call the weight of your body. Okay. So this is one very important method because whenever you go, okay, for example, when we walked, if you pay attention to our soul or to our feet, our mind, immediately come back to the present moment. And also, when you sit, you see, when we sit, and then we bring our attention to our soul, and right, right there, our mind will be at the present moment. Similarly, when we stand, okay, when we stand, we also pay attention to our soul, and then our attention be right back there. Okay, so this is 
one of the very important tips you know for people to develop the ability to come back to the present moment therefore i call it anchor of now we will anchor our mind at the present moment so later i'm going to uh, guide you on that as well and the second one as i said is the body awareness we can always use our body as an anchor of now as well because our body is ever present the only thing that wonders is the mind is it so when we pay attention to our body our mind is right back okay so after some time when you pay attention to your body or to your breath you start to forget okay therefore your mind start to get uh, become mindless okay uh, forget forgetfulness when we forget our body or forget our breath our mind is not right there is it so when the mind wonders we aware of that we aware of that that will be called a meta attention so this will be the first step of the mindfulness training okay by paying attention to our body and also to paying attention to the breath so now i'm going to combine this method and going to guide you on the simple mindfulness practice on mindfulness of the body and breath okay if you are in a safe environment you know at home or you are not driving so please you know follow me huh, with this practice so the first step you may place your hands on your on your laps okay this is a and then you may slowly close your eyes and bring your attention back to this body first step be aware of your sitting posture how your body is positioned when you sit have a feelings of your whole body sitting here be aware of different touching sensation including the anchor of now your sole or your feet come into contact with the ground or with the floor this bring your attention there feel your both soles right sole left sole feel the touching sensation and then slowly switch your attention to your buttock be aware of your buttock come into contact with the chair that you are sitting be aware of the touching sensation and be aware of the weight of a body the whole body as i mentioned as well as the touching sensation you may feel soft or hard you may pay attention to this sensation and then next bring your attention to your upper body feel your chest your shoulders your upper back your lower back and also to your abdomen have a sense of your whole body 
sitting here. You may also pay attention to the different touching sensation. Including the clothes that you are wearing. Come into contact with your skin. Like covering your whole upper body. Not to imagine or visualize, but to feel it. Pay your attention there. You may extend your attention to feel your limbs, your hands, your palms, and your fingers. Be aware of your touching sensation when the palm comes into contact with your laps. Aware of your weight of your both hand. And when your hand comes into contact with the air in the surrounding, the temperature or the windy sensation. Okay, then have a sense of your whole body, including your upper body, your both hands, your butt top, your both legs. Your soul sitting here. And then slowly extend your attention to your neck. Feel the tightness. Or some pressure sensation there. Then bring your attention to your face, your facial skin. Come into contact with the air in the surrounding. The warmness or the coldness on the surface of your skin. Your lips are touching each other. Your eyes lips are touching each other. Feel the sensation. And then bring your attention to your both ears. Feel the temperatures on your both ears. Warmness or coldness. Then bring your attention to the crown of your head or your whole head. And then now you may feel your whole body from the crown of your head slowly move down to your forehead to your both eyes to your ears lips facial skin 
นะี่ย shoulders chest abdomen upper back and lower back your butt top your both legs your both hands your soul Now have a sense of the whole body sitting here. What we need to do is to remember to pay attention to our body. Okay, you may now ask yourself a question. Am I taking an in breath now, or am I taking an out breath now? Be curious. Bring your attention to feel the process of breathing. Natural breathing. You do not need to control anything. What you need to do is just be curious and pay attention to the breath or the process of breathing. If you can't feel the breath, that is okay. You just have to pay attention to the whole body. If you can feel the breath, that is also very good. We should pay more attention to the breath. At the same time, having the body awareness in the background. You may start to notice your mind start to think about the past and future. That is normal. Just be aware, gently bring it back to the breath or to the body. Okay, now having a sense of the whole body sitting here again. Feel your whole body. And you may start to pay attention to the sound in the surrounding. Any sound. Just expand your awareness field to beyond your body. Then you may slowly open your eyes. When you open your eyes, be aware of what you see in front of you. The color and the shape. Okay? You may, you may slowly move your body. Or you put your palm together. Okay? Put your palm together. Feel the touching sensation of your both hand. You may feel the softness or the warmness of your hand 
And that is the feeling that we pay attention to. It's not any extraordinary uh, experience. It's a very common experience. What we need to do is to bring our attention back and to be aware of this ordinary experience. Okay? Then you may start to rub your hand, make it warm, rub your hand, make your hand warm, and then cup your hand on your face. Feel the warmness of your hand slowly transfer to your body, uh, to your face. And then you may give yourself a massage on your forehead, your temples, and then washing your face, like in the morning when we wash our face, but now without water. Okay, just uh, rub it. And then pulling your ears up and down, pulling your ears up and down. And then give yourself a little bit of massage on your shoulders. Okay, how do you feel? No, I'm not sure for how many of you that like, is the first time you ever sitting for so long, you no know, paying attention to your body and breath. So this is a very simple and also a short practice that we do maybe 